Hey, what's up, guys? Ray from Galaxy TV again. So today we are with the in-depth preview of the newest Desire series from HTC, that is the Desire 210 Dual SIM. So as you can see, this is the overall phone that I have hand with as well as with my hand right now. It is a four-inch phone with a, a pretty decent, or rather average, 512 MB of RAM, uh, four gigabyte of internal memory, and uh, that's it. The device features uh, was just launched from HTC, and uh, we are with the in-depth preview, and this is what the home screen looks like. Or rather the menus looks like when you uh, use the phone so a pretty decent phone when it comes to the HTC's uh, newest flagships or other HTC's uh, design models and all let me quickly go to the settings and uh, show you furthermore what's there inside when it go to, when you go to the settings uh, so going to the storage first as many people ask you uh, ask uh, what was the internal storage so we have about 3.66 gigabyte uh, available of total storage of total storage and uh, about when you compare with the uh, default memories you can just customize it accordingly you can switch to your external SSD cards or you can go to your internal memory and all so total 2.1 2.10 gigabyte is available and out of which uh, uh, 1.63 GB is available out of the memory card so quickly jump into the battery the battery is uh, pretty uh, average enough with a uh, uh, battery life of 300 mAh battery which I must say it's low if you're using the phone long or if you're using the multimedia features and all about the SD cards are uh, going to the running on all you can just check up this on the application tree you can just check up the settings and all and you can see what applications are running and all the things apart from it so going furthermore on these settings let me quickly explore some of the other features and uh, show you about the phone what the phone is having so the phone is uh, running on Android 4.2.2 that is a jelly bean and uh, you can go to the uh, status of the phone to sh see the IMA information, the battery levels and all. nothing much to show apart from it. Uh, let me quickly go to the back and quickly show you what's there for the more. So device is running on uh, Jelly Bean 4.2.2 uh, which comes in the box and there has been no update as of yet from HTC on upgrading it to a uh, KitKat or Android 4.4. So that's it when it comes to the uh, OS of the mobile phone and uh, it's running on Android KitKat uh, sorry Android Jelly Bean 4.2.2 so that's it when it comes to settings and overall features when it comes to your internal memory the RAM the applications and all these things so let me quickly jump to the Antutu benchmark which shows up uh, how the device performs with its uh, dual core processor 1 GHz gigahertz uh, dual core processor and let me quickly run the test and uh, we'll be doing a full test we'll just uh, forwarding a little bit to save the time uh, when it comes to the benchmark so that you can see all the processes of the benchmark and all and uh, keeping it aside the device is uh, running on uh, 512 MB of RAM which is pretty low when it comes to uh, uh, running up uh, heavy uh, memory consume consuming applications or games and all so dual core processor handles almost uh, uh, pretty much uh, standard enough basic applications smooth enough uh, pretty well on this device so we are almost at the end of the benchmark so the result will be just popping on the screen right away and here is the benchmark results so the top is the whooping HTC One M8 then is the S5 then is the Note 3 and uh, let's see where this device the 210 lies let me quickly go down and uh, let's see how this device is performing so this device performed about uh, 9159 or 9159 on the uh, benchmark test you can see up the uh, results of CPU, the RAM, GPU, 3D and all the details you can just pause up and see up uh, the details on this device. So when it comes to uh, benchmark tests and all when it comes to the performance of the device I would say it's not too bad enough being a mid-level or entry-level uh, Android phone from HTC and this device also has a blink feed that is a very good essential feature when it comes to uh, the HTC's phone so you can just customize your uh, social feeds, your news updates, your games, your uh, whatever, your news and all in your blink feed and you can just uh, swipe it from your left of the home screen and you can just uh, see up the details and you can also customize it by sports, politics, uh, cricket, Bollywood, whatever, wherever you lie depending upon your geographic locations uh, you can just customize it accordingly and uh, see up the uh, highlights of the uh, blink feed so blink feed being a very good feature this device uh, has the blink feed in it as we have seen in the older HTC's uh, uh, desired series and all they all have the blink feed and this device being from HTC has all the updates of uh, from the blink feed so, so uh, swiping from the top you go to the notification center you can customize your you can on your bluetooth 
you can all up on up your or you can uh, uh, crank up your brightness and all these features when it comes to this device so according to media you have youtube music players and all let me quickly jump to uh, youtube and show you how the uh, youtube videos uh, are being played on this device so till the time the youtube comes up uh, i'm just connected to my uh, ipad uh, hotspot uh, through my ipad so pretty good enough when it comes to uh, you are using up your uh, hotspot features on this device and connecting up with my ipad this device sometimes i've seen is lagging up a little bit the uh, wi-fi features that I, as i've seen in almost uh, many of the uh, uh, other phones of HTC, it sometimes lags up the uh, your uh, Wi-Fi connections. It's sometimes a little bit laggy and sometimes falls, uh, being the device your original device being closed. So let me quickly go to Gadgets TV, our channel, and uh, let me quickly try to play up a video. And uh, I'm just uh, switching up from the uh, portrait to landscape, and just to show up how the device performs when it comes to switching up uh, different modes, or rather different portrait or landscape modes. So let me uh, show how which device we can just play up. So let's see. I think I'll be trying to play the uh, HTC and uh, one of the HTC's review. So let me quickly start up with the HTC, uh, one of our older reviews of HTC. That is the HTC Desire uh, review. So this is the when it comes to uh, video playback, the four-inch screen plays up videos pretty well. The viewing angles on this device is also pretty good when it comes to uh, playing up uh, videos on this foreign screen rather than small monster I must say <laughs> when it comes to your uh, um, on this device so viewing resolution is pretty good the screen resolution is also pretty good the pixel per inch density that is 232 pixel per inch density gives this device a pretty good uh, viewing angles and uh, your photo and uh, videos when it comes to playing all these things is pretty good as well so that's it pretty much when it comes to uh, playing up videos and all let me quickly close up the uh, uh, youtube uh, player and let me quickly try to jump to the browser that is the google chrome which comes pre-installed on this device so going up to the browser let me quickly show some of the uh, browser features when it comes to uh, browsing through internet and using up this device and let me quickly try to go to your uh, let me quickly type up on this device. So typing, when it comes to typing, it's a very essential feature if you're a heavy texter or if you're uh, typing up your uh, chats and all, if you're browsing up through websites. So typing is pretty good. The response on this device uh, takes up features and uh, inputs from your keys pretty good enough and uh, very happy enough when it comes to foreign screens uh, typing on this device. So jumping directly to the camera part, it has a 5 megapixel camera which shoots up uh, decent enough photos I must say uh, 720p videos as well not a full 1080p video but we get 720p video going to the settings you can uh, see up the burst modes your continuous shots and all these things which comes up over there zero shutter delay is also there and you can set up your uh, self timer shots and all so pretty much a decent enough when it comes to settings you get almost all the features uh, regular features on the phone the outlook of the phone the settings of the phone looks pretty much to the older HTC's Desire 310 and all these uh, settings that we have already seen up. So photos being uh, taken up pretty smooth enough. There's been little uh, delay also when it comes to photos, uh, taking up photos and uh, giving a preview. So as you come to the videos, it shoots up decent enough 720p videos on this device and uh, uh, taking up uh, screens, uh, take, rather taking up the uh, the photos and all these things and videos are good enough when it comes to overall features of this device. So that's it for now on this device. We have covered up the in-depth review of the ACC Desire 210. I hope you liked it. If you have any question, you can put down in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them for you. This is Ray. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.